meeting is streaming live on YouTube. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Steve O.D. from the 313, running about 15 minutes late. My apologies. <laughs> my fault, my fault. That's all right. <clears throat> we got Tank in the house. Uh, we got Scott Zilla. What's going on? Scott, can you hear me? Hey. What's up, man? I got to rename myself. What's going on with you, bud? Oh, spent the day with relatives. Oh, yeah? How'd and that go? They're starting to get old. It's kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I seen a picture of a friend of mine's mom the other day. And she was like a mom to me too, and it she was so freaking old looking. Well, crazy. my grandmother lived to be a hundred and four years old. I don't know what's happening with the rest of her family. They're not looking so good. <laughs> Even my cousins aren't looking so good. It's like, damn. <laughs> really? Let's, then I do I have got, a few on you too. <laughs> you have a what too? I have a few years on you too. Yeah. I'm 56. You're 39? You're 38. 38. Yeah. So, okay, I got the chat popped up now. Let's see who we got in the chat. Let me put it to live chat. Uh, RC Seeker is first. Yes, you are. RC Propaganda. What's going on, bud? Green Frog RC, what's going on, Kagan? Bucks RC World players. <laughs> um, Beanfield Elves Turtle, what's going on? Micron RC, what, he says, yo, guys, from the 702 to the 313. <laughs> Micron's 37, he says. 11 Charlie, Javier, what's up, buddy? Um, RC player. Fog City, what's up everyone? Clayton Dunlop, what's going on, man? Brandon Timbaland, what's up, buddy? I went to the back doctor today to find out my fate. And they looked at the MRIs and they want to do the the thoracic and like the, the whole back. They want me to go in and get the ink injected. But they said, hopefully, what they can do is go up the spine and clean up all the nerves because they don't see anything that's really blockage. They said, I got three bulging discs, but it's not affecting it. So they said, hopefully, we can get you out of that chair and walking. So that's, yeah. that's good news. I don't want to get myself hyped up about it too much because they haven't seen the full back. So... That way, if something comes down and then they say, we can't do nothing for you, then I'm going to be really pissed. Yeah, just If you get walking again, don't just jump on a motorcycle first thing you do, okay? That's what I did last time. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, my dad was pissed because I, I competed in a stunt show. I used to do stunt ro uh, on crotch rockets, doing oh. uh, Supermans and freaking wheelies with my legs over the front fender. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, Ooh. for Detroit uh, Street Riders. I was in a club called Detroit Street Riders, and uh, yeah, I used to stunt trick fucking the uh, crotch rockets. Oh and wow! As soon as I, I used to, I used to take my walker and get it up, get my leg over it, get on the bike, and then I'd take off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my dad was like, "Man, you got that." ostomy bag if you fall off that's already your guts already hanging out of your body and it's gonna mess you up but luckily oh, yeah. I, I never cried <laughs> so okay tuga is in the house rc uh island rc duke what's going on easy froggies rc more what's up concept rc thanks for stopping in breaking silence um delaware rc man what's going on um yeah brandon that, that thank you man great lakes rc what's up aaron but holy crap that would be amazing to see what yeah then maybe i could uh catch up with you on the track when we go next time i'll be able to stand up and see better 
or we're going to put you in a seat sitting right next to me, and then we'll go head to head. <laughs> um, breaking silence, that is good news. Yes, so far. Um, RC player, you in a bike accident? No, no. First one was a bad car accident. But uh, no, luckily, I never crashed my, uh, my Harley or my crotch rocket. Even though I drove like a maniac. <laughs> Let's see. Need the email, Steve. Okay, I sent it to you on uh, one thing. BLX Matt, Swampers RC, Bill Boyton, what's up, man? Uh, let me send that link to Mr. Javier. You're getting pretty good at pronouncing his name now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just can't think of what the hell his uh, email starts with. Oh, A... There we go. I got it. Um, let Charlie Pace and send. All right, how do I get the screen back up? There we go. Um, where am I at in chat? Kind of lost it. What RC, the Mojave? I'm not sure what they're, I'm, he's asking. Um, I'm just, Starting to look at the chat myself. Yeah. Adventure Time RC, what's up, man? JD Paso, hey, congratulations on your new Red Cat short course truck. Yeah, that was cool. I saw that. Yeah, I like the I like the look of that truck. I don't know why I just do. I don't think I some commented, people don't. I did watch it. Huh? I don't think I commented, but I did watch it. Yeah. What's up, Sean? All good, guys. All good. How's everything? Good, good. Um, Makaz RC Channel, what's going on? Uh, Ozzy Dom RC says, hey, fellas. Clayton Dunlap, HBX Rampage. Did you get it? Did uh, Clayton, did you get your, your HBX? Um, the guy that won the trike, he put up his first video ever today. He was like, I was so nervous. He emailed me about it. I watched him, but you could tell he's so, he's so nervous in the video, but uh, it was a quick, like, two-minute video. He's only got two subscribers, so me and somebody else. Bobby's RCs. There he is. You guys see Bobby's RCs? You guys show him some support. He's only got two subscribers. He's the one that won the trike. He's in the chat. You can know, do something about that real easily. Yeah. yeah. We can get you up some uh, subscribers right now. Hey, Kevin, Kevin Talbot, what's going on? Go, Steve, and the crew. <laughs> what's happening, bro? You've been putting up some good videos. I want to go to those places that you guys go to, the, the crawler tracks, the race tracks. Shit looks so much fun. If Bobby's um, in the chat, he should type some of those. We can all find his page. Who, Bobby? Yeah. Yeah, he did. Um, type it again, buddy. Yeah, type something again, Bobby, so we can get you some subs. Um, Filthy Co., what's up, man? Uh, hey, guys, sorry I haven't been around much lately. Not feeling well. Just want to stop and say hello. Well, I hope you feel better, bro. Um, get some rest and all that good stuff. Eat some chicken noodle soup or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Javier, what's up, man? How you doing, guys? How's everybody doing? You scared me, ninja. I'm a ninja, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scott. Hey, Sean. Hey, Javier. Everybody in the chat. What's up, Tuga? Hey, Earl. Um, someone was asking, how's the TRX4 sport build coming? Uh -huh. Right here. I don't know if you can see it, man. Cool. So what's getting there? Yeah, it's it's, it's basically done. There's some stuff that uh, Daniel is going to 3D print, and you know, I gotta oh. wait some other stuff. Yeah, like a low center of gravity uh, battery. Yeah, the, tray. Ba the battery tray. So I, I that's why I had to stop there. Plus, I have to go to my hobby shop so they could solder uh, the leads and the home hobby motor and. Uh, ESC. Well, you ain't got a soldering gun? No, man. Oh, come on. You can get them for oh, like yeah. 10 bucks. <laughs> I know. No, I got to learn how to do that, bro. 
yeah, but not, you, a, not in this one. I don't want to mess this one up. I yeah, want to do it on mine, you know? You just have to practice. Do you feel confident to do something bigger than, you know, soldering a couple of wires together? Just to practice. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. That's what I got to yeah. do, man. Hi, I practice how you're just like a piece of metal, but using it like a welder and just like holding it and running straight lines with a solder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I practice. Uh, Kevin says they uh the tanks said the f- he was the four sub for Bobby, so I did sub two. I think I was number eleven. Which Bobby? Oh, oh Bobby R C. Yeah, let Bobby R C. Let, let me see. I the, put some more see. videos out there now that everybody's subscribing. Yeah, well, that's what I told him. He he said that was going to be his first video when he got the prize, and then um yeah. he was going to start making videos. Yeah, he so, he got another me now nice yeah, uh, yeah. thanks man been spending some time editing lately yeah i could tell man um filthy coast of blood infection no bueno i'm on meds wow. you guys have a good one you guys have a good one yeah you too man he's probably on uh i i've had that shit before uh those antibiotics i forget what they're called um rock Atkin. Uh, what's up, everybody? He says thanks for uh, joining tonight. Um, sent you a sub, Bobby. All right, you guys are doing it, doing it. Good stuff. I know I was the second one up, so we're yeah, we're yeah. expecting videos. Yeah, I'll, I'll get them in a few minutes when I get my chat to work. Yeah, how's how's your build going? Not so bad. I have the I have the the dry shaft set and the motor are the, the gears and all in as well. Like so, I'm just doing all the joints at the minute. So it's actually coming along pretty good. Sweet man. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Great. Um. Kev says, "What? What do you guys think of the Primal? It's a beast truck. Man, it, it it is big. Yeah, it's expensive." That's what I think of. Yeah, it's not designed for the backyard. You're gonna need a little more okay. room than that. That's a little more right there. <laughs> but when I've been watching crazy. videos, yeah, but I've been watching videos of it, like it's very slow. But yeah, I think it's it's too slow too. Yeah, for the size of it, like it should be mm-hmm. a lot more power. Uh, yeah. I- Yes, they give you a different, a separate uh, sets of gears so you can gear it up a little bit um, to get it to go a little faster. But yeah, right out the gate, I thought it was a little all all noise and no go. Yeah, yeah. Um, what call them Australian guys? Um, Aussie Aussie Playground? No, no, something tank and it. What's it? I'm not sure. Oh, it's RC tanks and trucks. Yeah, twenty four seven. RC yeah. tra- oh, okay. Because the video they don't even like it. It was slow and they were going full throttle on it, like you know. Yeah, with that stock gear. Did you get a chance to go to the Primal place and look at it in person? No, I haven't had a chance yet. Like I'm, I'm working tomorrow, but I'm only working for like two hours. So the wife will think I'm working five or six so i'll get the hobby stores tomorrow then you know tell, yeah. her, tell her i'm working for the whole day where i'm only working like two hours you know right on <laughs> um earl's still waiting on the funds to ship it to clayton uh how much is it maybe we can get uh get it paid for to get him his first rc who's who's that uh oh, clayton yeah, Earl has got the, the, the truck, but he didn't send it because he doesn't have the funds to send it. Oh, but yeah. Like I, I sent that one. It only cost me $11. So, I mean, if you need, if you need like 11 bucks, so. Oh, yeah, let me, let it, let it, no, Alvin, bro. And Gabriel asked me, RC Bastard Boy, if I wanted to run the Glamis. And I was worried about the shipping, but man, after watching everybody's videos, <laughs> Made this it's probably fun. <laughs> it would have been so much fun to drive with. That's yeah, nice. I think the shipping on that was like 
like 40 or 50. That's kind of what I figured. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what I, who did I send it to? I don't remember who I sent it to. I pay around that, that amount. Bobby's RC just got another one. Sweet. Um, Good stuff, bro. It says, I would love one. Looks fast enough for what I think and could always mod it. Yeah, definitely. With rear steer, yeah, that's one thing I do like about it is you could get rear steer. Or does it have rear steer right out the gate? <laughs> Good job, Micron. Micron oh, RC sent there you go. Sent Micron. Yeah, Micron just sent the 20, so. Should cover uh, it. Yeah, it should cover it. Nice. Sweet, man. Hey Frank, I just how you doing, don't know, man? I don't know. I don't know when I get those funds and then they take their the money out of it. So I might have to uh, figure something out. I'll send PayPal and then just get reimbursed or something if I got enough. Okay. Uh, Venture Size Time says he just shipped the glam that cost him forty bucks. Wow. So. Who's yeah, who's good? Who's getting in now? Tony? Yeah. Tony's yeah, next. I think so. Yeah, good stuff, Mike. I mean, that was cool. Yeah, awesome. Ace 88, what happened to your wrench? I had to cut the wrenches down because uh, YouTube and Frank informed me about if you have a wrench, you can actually delete my comments. So I had to cut them down. Yeah. But if you ever if you ever need to put a link up or whatever, I can give you the mod for the night. You know what I'm saying? So just let me know. Yeah. Uh, who won the trike? Uh, Bobby Bobby's RC won at Ace eighty eight. He's in the chat here. Good stuff, man. That's the one that all is just one to subscribe to, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you have a new video. Cool. Huh? He's gonna have a new vehicle to, to video. He's got, uh, I think he's got two other vehicles besides the trike. I think he told me. Yeah, I subbed to him, so I was fourth, and now he's up to. Uh, how many subs? He's got 18 subs. So he was at four subs, now he's at 18. There you go, brother. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. Now, now you got to be motivated to make some more videos. You got 18 people yep. watching right now. Yeah. Don't be nervous. He said he was nervous. I said you'll get you'll get used to it. Oh yeah. I can't say that I have. <laughs> <laughs> it is about <laughs> Cord button, but it's like talking to a girl when you're 15 years old. Lip, 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 lip. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get a sentence out of my life depending on it. That's and there, there's a guy that's selling a new TF2 body, and mine is getting so old and so scratched up and so dinged up, but it's got character now, and I, I don't want to get rid of it. Some people are telling me I should get a new body, but like... <laughs> It's got scratches. Uh, I worked hard for those scratches. <laughs> okay, later, Kevin. Yeah, see you, Kev. Thanks for stopping in, bud. Yeah, thanks for the thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, thumbs up on your way out. <laughs> RC Aholic, is it? I might have missed, missed him. Curtis C from the O. C OKC oh from Oklahoma. Nice. OKC. Um he said Bobby says there are only other two RCs that I have is two wheel drive stampede and a one eighth DHK four by four Maximus and a cheap S912 Lucian. Yeah, that Lucian, that one's garbage. The Maximus is pretty cool, and the two-wheel drive stampede is always fun. All right, let me catch back up here. Good, nice, good luck on the hunt. Oh, who's going hunting? Must have missed it. 
Oh, there we go. Uh, T.S. O'Day. Great. Brent, how are you, my bro? Last Saturday of elk hunting tomorrow. Nice. Is it uh, bow season or is it rifle season? I used to uh, do whitetail deer. Bow season was my Christmas. I, I couldn't sleep before opening night. I'd be the first guy out in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I spent like, well, like $1,500 plus on my bow. It was a Matthews. It was top notch. Yeah, bow hunt. Bow hunting takes a lot of skill. But... Yeah, I was Robin Hood from the hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet bow season. Nice. What are you shooting? The Matthews or a Hoyt? Or... You found the glue yet, Steve? Too good. No, man. <laughs> That's well sniffed. If you could see the way that I'm, I'm like packed in here. I got shit everywhere because I'm trying to move everything and reorganize it when I get the new desk up here, and, and uh, stuff is just piled on top of shit on top of shit. Hunter, come on, stop pushing it. You got it. You got it already, right? Or is that Sunday you're getting it? Oh, I already got the, the bench. It's all, okay. Buck, Buck came over and built it all up in one day. Besides, we just got to install the light and then the power strip on the side. Awesome. Yeah, it's kind of high. Like, it's got a nice big drawer that's on ball bearings that yeah. just clears the top of my things. So the desk is like, kind of like up to here on me so i'm kind of i mean i'm right there so it's easy to work on stuff it's just i, I might be looking like a midget you know <laughs> there is there is like these rubber feet that screw into the bottom that lift it up so i probably could take those out and it would drop a little bit yeah you know just a couple of inches so that would probably make a big difference but i think the way it is i i just got to get used to it I'm so used to this low one. Hey, what's up, Shin RC? Hey, Shane, how you doing, brother? What's up, Steve? Net Cruiser, John, what's going on? No, I didn't find the glue yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd probably be better off just buying some on Amazon Prime at this point. I do got to get red Loctite, too, because Buck used up all my Loctite. Let's see. Shen says net cruiser. Uh, I busted him about that in my video comment. Oh, about me not gluing the tires. <laughs> well, this was a thing. It was uh, to me a Tuesday, and time was running out. I had never that to me a Tuesday, so I slapped in the electronics and took it out. <laughs> I couldn't find the glue in time. How long after you how long after you decide to make RC videos did you just jump? I've been planning for months and can't pull the trigger. Just send it. Yeah man. Don't think about it. <laughs> exactly. We're, you know, the people that are going to watch you, the first couple of subscribers you get are going to be good dudes because you're going to meet them like in places like this. Yeah. So you shouldn't, you should just talk to the camera like you're talking to your buddy sitting in front of you. Yeah. That's what I do. I just don't think about it. TNT RC bashing. What's up? What's going on? Maximum effort RC here. Definitely. Most, oh, okay. TSO day. That's what I shot was mine was the Matthew solo cam. Uh, I had the switch back or, or it was the outback when they first came out. A lot of money tied up into my stampede, but RCs are a lot of fun. Yeah, you will you will spend a lot of money on RCs, upgrading them and getting them the way you want them to run. But the fun factor, it's just worth it. 
I think it's fun working on them. And I think it's fun breaking them because then you get to work on them again. <laughs> I hate breaking stuff. You don't like working on your rigs? No, I don't mind working on them. I just don't like breaking stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to break them. I mean, I just try to send them and whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the reason why I don't do too much bison. It, it, it just gets way too costly. Yeah. Well, I, I, think I, can, I can jump a truck pretty good and I enjoy doing it, but I really won't try doubles or triple flips until I know that I can actually see it wants to do it. You know, I'm just not going to just go for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's my mistake. I just try to do it. <laughs> when I'm racing, you know, I'm always going for it. And, you know, it's such an adrenaline thing because you come out of a turn and you see a jump and you're like, is your car lined up? Is it getting the traction it needs? Do I go for it or not? Am I willing to risk the position? I mean, so you're bashing at speed and it's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, Sean, that one right there is going to be cool if you got a spot that has some nice uh, smooth black top. You know. Yeah, that's what I got to keep an eye out for now. Like. Yeah. I'm actually surprised it's all metal drive shafts, everything like too. That's sick, man. That's awesome. Yeah, metal drive shafts, metal links, and everything like that. Awesome. Let me check some. <clears throat> we got 20 thumbs up and 34 watching. Yeah, we need more. 21. Hey, what's up, Jack? Hey, Jackson, uh, just passing by. Good day, y'all. <laughs> hey, Jack, brother. How you doing, man? You should stick around for a minute. Yeah. Hey, Green Frog. What's up? Roadside RC, what's going on? Kagan, brother. Haven't seen you in a while, man. A lot chat, man. Miss you. Yeah. Um. Damn. No doubt. I was thinking we haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. I was mowing my yard around the racetrack and I was thinking about how much of a hard time I always give him about moving all those rocks. <laughs> and as I was mowing out there, I remembered all the work I did to get it where it's at. <laughs> and I sprayed and I sprayed and I sprayed and I could not kill that Johnson grass. I actually would go out every afternoon at a certain time and pick like an eight by eight spot and dig up every stinking weed by hand. <laughs> Get it going. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what <laughs> Kagan's uh, neighbors got goats and they're over there, I think, chewing on his lawn one time. <laughs> TNTRC Bastion says he's getting a spinal implant out next month. He won't be human RC anymore. <laughs> I might be getting this, something like that done next, uh, yeah, October 17th, I go now. Um, doing the interior. Oh, AZ Froggy's doing the interior painting on his semi body. Awesome. Who was having that procedure done? Um, TNT, uh, RC bashing. Oh. Well, good luck with everything. Yeah. It sounds painful. <laughs> yeah. Go, Steve, October 17th. Yeah, yep. That's the next time I go. Which is cool because I waited three months for this appointment today. So wow. the, they were supposed to do uh, x ray today on me, too, but mm -hmm. I couldn't get up on the table. So they're sending me to like the hospital where. They got okay. better equipment, you know, yeah. so maybe they got like a hoist or some shit, you know, because yeah. I've gained so much weight from not moving. I, I was always like 150, 160. Now I'm probably well over 200. I don't know. Yeah, it happens, man. My mom says it's because I drink Monster all day, every day. It's all <laughs> the sugar. 
She's like, you better not get diabetes. I'll kick your ass. I'll post another video. Bobby says, I'll post another video here sometime with my CMP two wheel drive to show everyone what I've done to it. Go for it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Propaganda says monsters can't be good. <laughs> I had a monster today, that's so why I'm a little bit hyper. Really? <laughs> it's like I always get so tired during these shows and I'm like, oh, I look like I'm stoned because my eyes are so closed and I'm so tired. <laughs> so I went and bought me a monster before we started the show. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cheers to your monster. <laughs> it, I'm going to show you guys real quick. This is a sneak peek. Here, let me, uh, let me uh, get your like um, on here, how do I, I let's see, spotlight video in there? Yeah, that's a sneak peek right here of the Johnny Rain. Uh... Oh, the body, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wow, is little... that yellow, orange? Yeah, with the veteran. Yeah, it's a sneak peek. It's a little bit. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Sneak peek. Sick, man. When's he uh, gonna ship it out to you? Uh, he said, uh, when was it? Next Wednesday. It's almost okay. done. Almost done with it. No. It's a beauty, man. I um, guess he has a lot of talent, man. Yeah. yeah. Did you see uh, Exo Cage? He got one done by a guy, and I mentioned that Johnny Rains does bodies like that. And I think yeah. it was the guy that made it was like, "Yeah, that's who inspired me to start doing these bodies." Yeah, yeah, he's an awesome dude, man. Awesome, also he does a lot of the stuff for the veterans. He uh, he reached out to me in one of them videos, and he want to be a part of it. Awesome guy, man. Good dude. That's awesome. Um, I put the link in the chat of like uh, Green Frog, Net Cruiser, or Tuga, Froggies, because I don't have everyone's uh, email. Did you guys see the new Pro Line 1.9 uh, B Locks? The, the, the expansive set? I didn't. Oh my God, like $63, something like that. I didn't check the price on them, I just seen the video. Yeah. You know, when tires cost as much as the ones that go on your car, there's a problem. Because yeah. <laughs> I can buy tires at Pet Boys for 40 bucks. <laughs> yeah, um, Exocage actually had a video out with his UDR, and someone made uh, aluminum B locks for the UDR, too. Yeah. And uh, it looked pretty cool. Yeah, and, and Proline made them tires for the UDR also. Which ones? Uh, let me let me search for them. I think they were out last week, if I'm not mistaken. UDR. Are they regular tires or paddle tires? I'll tell you in a minute. UDR Proline tires. Uh, it says here, man. Hey. I'm on my phone. Oh, they're Hyraxes, bro. Proline Unlimited Desert Racer U UDR Hyrax tires with inserts. Uh, yeah, yeah. Green Frog said that. Yeah, I do remember that video. What's up, John? Hey, guys. Not too much. Hey, John. Down you down can can you hear us? I can hear you fine. Yeah, there you go. Okay, yeah, I hear you now. I think my internet's even extra slow tonight, so might be bad on my end. Why yeah. watching that again? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, TSO Day says, hey, Steve, I've been trying to figure out how to send you my channel stickers for like three months. How do I do it? Oh, uh, you just email me and I give you my address. Yep. 
that is going by so fast. I know, it's crazy. You can't even, like, you're in the middle of reading one thing, then it's bye before you. <laughs> Yeah, I type and I press enter and I look up and my message is gone. It's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> there's, uh, there's the email. I put it in the chat. Um, anyone have a red cat strider? I used to. Uh, I traded it to my buddy. But, and then he ended up selling it. It's a, it's a 4S 6, uh, 6 scale. So I think it really needs at least success to liven that thing up. I mean, it was, it was pretty quick on 4S, but I just like more power. I had the V2. Yeah, the V2, the red one. Thanks that like button, guys. Green Frog says, thanks, buddy. Oh, I did see Green Frog in my last video when we were building the uh, workbench. There was a frog that was keeping <laughs> us company and watching us. I'm like, hey, it's Green Frog RC. <laughs> <laughs> Elex Matt said he just ordered D boot backflips, low pro tires, and can't wait. Uh, which one are those? The Arma, one of the. Don't Arma do the D boots? What did the tires go? You got the D boot backflips, low pro tires. Oh, yeah. Those are on the Outcast 4S. Oh, okay. Okay. They're just, they're like millimeters lower profile than the, than the other ones, I think. It's not a big difference, but yeah, they're nice tires. Yeah, I seen uh, Rich Duperbash, uh He took them off the forest outcast and put them on like his crate. Hey, and John. Then... Yep. This guy I've been following. He's a racer. He's, yeah. Uh, he did a review video on a vehicle that's not out yet. It's an up and coming vehicle, and I was the whole time I was watching. It's like, man, he really needs to wait. He needs to watch the way John does this. <laughs> Because he didn't really have any of the facts and he didn't have like close up photos. He just would have the camera looking at the book and stuff. I was like, hey, you need to watch John's video. He does a great job on this stuff. <laughs> oh, thanks. So he was showing a website yes. of something coming or he has it? He had a, I don't even know where he got the book from. It's the new NB28 coming out. So he had the book open and the camera was kind of over his shoulder and you couldn't see anything. And he was kind of guessing his stuff and you always compare stuff. You do a great job of looking at vehicles when they're out. <laughs> so you're going to be watching the 10 scale worlds this weekend? Is, wow. that, is that this weekend? I think so in Slovakia. Ooh. Oh, cool. It's at the Hootie Arena. It's the 10 scale world championships, I do believe. And there's rumors that if you watch the practice when they're happening, you might get a sneak peek at some new buggies that are going to come out in the next few months. Oh, wow. The Southern Nats are this weekend, too. Yeah. You got to Louisiana or something. It looks when, pretty... you, when are you heading to Boston, Scott? What's that? I said, like, when are you heading to Boston? Me? Yeah. I don't know. Is Cheers still open? <laughs> I thought you were heading up for a pro, you were up for a pro line race in Boston or something, no? Oh no, that's that's here in Texas still. That's uh just north of Austin. Oh, I thought you were heading up to Boston. Oh, Austin, Boston, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey Tuga, thanks for joining, bud. Hey Tuga. How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. Yourself? Good, good, brother. Can't complain. It looks like uh, TNT Bashing was asking if anybody wanted to trade a Rustler 4x4 for a crawler. <laughs> Maybe somebody will. Um, is that World Championship going to be on YouTube? Beanfield Alice Turtle wants to know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. It I would be shocked if Live RC wasn't going to stream it out. 
So if you go to Live RC, they should have something posted um, that, that will link to some sort of video live while, where it's happening. I may have some. Um, Elx Matt says net cruiser that Mojave video was really good. Your presentation. Thanks, thanks guys. No. Yeah, I got a lot of positive was good video on that. I was like, I was thinking, I was like, John was like one of those book nerds the night before or studying <laughs> for a test, of getting all the notes put down because he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that i watch a lot of his camera reviews too and they're they're pretty thorough john does a good job yeah. we got yeah. a message in the chat john martin says to everyone hello everyone hey how's it going steve look at me i'm still playing with the truck is he in the uh the the, the video oh yeah yeah, yeah. Hey, you know i hit the Good, good. I hit the arrow and there's a whole new bunch of people over here. <laughs> we got uh, Brett Shea in the house, John Martin in the house. Oh, how'd you get over there, Eleven Charlie? I don't know. I'm, I'm sneaky like that. It's just sneaky. And yes, I didn't change my name. I'm AZ Froggy. Easy Froggy. That's what I thought because you were on with us last night. Yep. How's that bill going? Eh, going pretty good. Right now I'm cutting out all the stickers for the dash. Oh, damn. Not pre-cut. No. <laughs> Here's the cab. Oh, nice. Uh -oh. Nice. Turn good. Turn nice good. color. Very nice color. Thank you. Doing all the fun inside yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So is that the Hercules one, like Tank did, or is that a Tamiya? That's the Tamiya. Okay. It's the Man 540. The Man Truck. Man. Mine's not a green color. Man's not yeah. a man. Came out nice. So, John Martin, what are you up to tonight? Uh, just fixing. Uh... The mud boss, I was trying to change out a pinion and I tried to pull it off and I ended up bend, bending the motor so I couldn't go racing tonight and I just finished oh. placing the motor. Damn. Yeah, it sucked. Did you do any racing since the last time that uh, you were on? Oh, I've, I've been every I've been every week till every Friday night. That's why when I pop in on Friday nights, it's usually because I'm on my way home from Indiana. Oh, okay. Cool. You win any? No, oh, no, not yet. Not at all. I just just been racing about a month now, so I'm still just getting everything tuned in and straightened out and squared away on it. Cool. What chassis are you running? I got the LCG on it right now. Slash? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, all the mud boss, they're pretty much all slash two-wheel drive. Yeah, that they are. But some places, they actually tell you no modification. You can't even put a low low center of gravity. You got to yeah. do the whole one. That's, that's, so here's, here's the beast right here. Cool. Good. Yeah, that's cool. I run an LCG setup for my bomber class. Yes, I'm just still tinkering on it. I, like I said, I put the 13.5 in it, and I did. I oh. out the spur gear on it, and it's like, damn it! <laughs> oh, I got I got the actual spur gear puller coming. Nice. We can only run 12 turns stock Titan motors or a 17.5. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's the way our bomber class is set up. It's competitive, though. Good. Hey. What's up, uh, Mr. Tuga? What are you doing? I see you got a crawler there, but I haven't heard from you. 
Um, that's my uh, that's my hobo. Oh, hobo. Yeah. How do you like how do you like that one? It's different. It's, just, <laughs> it's different. It, you know, I've only had what uh, two crawlers. This one is my third one. So my two first ones were my G made Sobak. Then I have my G made R1. That's more like a sponsor. Yeah. But this compared to the to the Sobak, it's it, it's different. You know, it's it's way heavier. Okay. Uh, and uh, but it has potential. It has a lot of potential. The one thing that was that I really did not like it was the pan hard bar and the the yeah. circle. I, I, I yeah. don't I don't really like that. So uh, I end up for creating uh, my own um, my own uh, servo mount for the for the actual and they perform so much better now. I rem <clears throat> you actually did a video on that, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, because I asked you because I was confused, and you're like, what are you confused about? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I remember that video. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, you just, uh, the, the pan hard, hard part and the, the, the servo mounted on the chassis is just, it just didn't work very well. Sometimes it would, the suspension would not work because the the bar and the and the, the steering was working against each other. Yeah, so it, it was just a bit weird. It's just because the, the the truck is so high lifted. The way they did it, it just does not work. It only works okay. if if the the, the the axle is quite, is quite close to the, the, the frame. If it's too far away, it, it just does not, does not work at all. Okay. Well, you got it all modified now and working better? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll show you quickly. All right. So that's, that's just what I've done to it. So there's the turbo there. Just mounted on the axle, and it, it just works perfect now. Nice man. Hey, Larry, brother. Cool. Oh. Nice man. My internet was kind of going off there. It was hard to hear him. You guys see me here going crazy. I already took my medicine. I just watching boxing. Let me mute myself because I'm gonna. Go crazy in a minute. <laughs> Larry H, what's going on, man? Um, sorry, guys, I haven't been looking at the chat. Uh, let me look back. TNT, you later, man, if you're still in here. Thanks for coming by. Um, so, um, so what happened to the the tinfoil hat, uh, Frank. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Frank, where is it? I ran out of time. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Frank was supposed to wear a tinfoil hat tonight for the aliens. Aliens. I go get one. R RC conspiracy. J.D. Passel says, I like that associated rig with the paddle tires. It's brushless. Uh, what is that one called? The, uh, it's like they got two models. One's like that rat rod style, and the other one's uh, like a blue and white. Like uh, Oh, the SCB, maybe? I know they're based on SC10 chassis. Yeah, it looks like a desert buggy style yeah. truck. Good thing, right? Yeah, yeah, I like I like them. Those those are pretty cool. What's with those paddles? Larry says just 
to get through this. You're a lot of people There's in here. There's Tony uh, in the chat. There's a lot of people in here. Uh, you can put it in uh, Brady Bunch mode, uh, Steve. -O. Top right corner. Okay. Click on the icon. Which, uh, okay. Like that. Yep. Okay, cool. Tony says it's not a conspiracy, it's real. <laughs> what? Oh, when we say RC conspiracy because of uh, his show, mm -hmm. we think that he's getting secret intel and really knows what's going on. You got the magic <laughs> headphones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, where's uh, Mr. Fashion Boy tonight? I don't see him. I sent him an invite. And, you know. He's probably next door. Next door? Neighbor. Meow, meow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get you. <laughs> she broke her nose and not, could not. She broke her nose and could not make the lie. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Is he calling her, is Shen calling him a her? <laughs> yes, Brady Bunch mode is on. Hey, there's someone I haven't seen in a long time. <clears throat> RC After Dark, my buddy James, that has that badass crawler course he built, he lives in Michigan. He lives just north of me. <clears throat> Have any of you guys seen RC After Dark? And the uh, the, the um, thing that he built, that crawler course? Yeah, man, that yeah, is sick. If you that haven't, check him out, man. It was just tagged in a video just the other day, so I watched it. I actually, it was today. I right, checked the channel out. Said, oh, what's up? My internet is crap due to high winds and rain, but I'm trying to hang out with you all. P.S. Aliens do it. <laughs> way, way too much, way too much glare with this add-on. There's way too much glare. <laughs> there we got it. I don't present them. <laughs> way too much glare. The alien won't get me. They will not get what's in my brain. I'm building this secret RC, and they will not get the Gotta truth. Stop it, man. Uh, <laughs> Frank, you should try to see if you have a better signal now with your, uh, with your controller. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works with the controller. Oh, maybe if I... Would an airplane controller work better for that? <laughs> Does it work? Still works. <laughs> nice. Well, he was a man of his word. He did what he said he was going to do. Yep. You know how I was laughing at you. Steve, you know how I was just saying I had to I would probably the spur gear. I'll show you a picture of I don't know how well it's gonna be on if you can see that. If you want your phone to get you gotta get in closer. Here, let me uh, spotlight you. Well, anyways, that's that was the chassis full of mud. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. That's why I had to do a a full tear down on it to get it cleaned out from last Friday, and that's when I stripped the spur gear. Rub I think I think you I, I think you made cement with all that fucking uh, dirt in there. Oh man, it was nasty. I I, I bought a freaking you know one of the plastic pans that you uh, put clothes and stuff into and just soaked the whole freaking thing. Figured that was the only <laughs> way to do it. You know? Yeah, I've heard of people taking the RCs in the shower. <laughs> yeah, that, that, this thing was pretty nasty. <laughs> That's crazy. Come here. Uh, 
if aliens radio you use it on your semi. Sorry. What's that? What radio are you going to use on your semi? Uh, spectrum, uh, six channel spectrum. Okay. I went cheap. I got a Fly Sky six channel. I got it up with a plane that was messed up. So I paid 40 right. bucks for everything. Cool. It's a DX6i, an, uh, an older one I got from a friend. That's cool. This is a FST4B six channel. Who's your friend there, John? Mark. That's my, it's my uh, dog, Shelby. <laughs> oh, what's up, Shelby? That's she's not big. camera shy at all. She's like looking away. Oh, I know. She's, she's... <laughs> yeah, I think I, I told a lot of you guys last night, but well, since our dog passed in late April, we had a black lab. Now we're getting a red lab. And it's going to be a girl this time, and it's going to be named Tamia or Tamaya. We can't decide yet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tamia, Tamaya. That's oh. written. Got to go get parts outside. Sorry. My internet was, uh, I was paused there, so I didn't hear anything. <laughs> you guys heard me, though? Tamia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Shelby is a Australian Shepherd boxer mix. Wow. Yeah, I can see the boxer in her face. Like I said, you, if, if you can see the, the ticking here in her paws, that's from the Australian Shepherd. She'll, she'll chase my truck down the road at 30 miles an hour for about a quarter <laughs> mile before she decides, oh, I'm going to go home now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, trying to bite cool. at it. That okay. is not letting me chew the tires. Yeah, well, she she chases the RC car around too. That's why I had to make it faster. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on, John? Uh, a bunch of random stuff that was broken. So I just fixed the Gen Eight, the portal axle on the Gen Eight. I finally uh, fixed that. Um, I got to change an A arm on my arm of granite, and uh, I might work on the UDR as well. Just some random stuff that's broken. I got to fix up. Yeah, the UDR that I broke. <laughs> I know. I posted that a week or two ago, and then I never did change it. Maybe tonight. <laughs> I think it'll work. That is that is not the right side, but it looks like it'll work. Yep. Yeah. Me, I'm getting my trucks ready tonight for Sunday's comp. My vehicles have been very neglected lately. Yeah, I've got a race this Sunday as well. So I, I blew the bead um, uh, on my short course. So I got to re glue that tire. But before you re glue it, I got to like wash it and clean it and all that stuff. So probably do it tomorrow. Well, my cars are sitting on the shelf back there and they haven't been touched in three weeks. And I didn't even take the tires off of them, much less clean the tires. They're still sitting there. Yeah. I mean, I was a bad boy this time around. <laughs> like, yeah, I do that a lot. I, I race them and then I just let them fester full of clay. Yeah, but I got a big race coming up. I need to be taking care of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, you changed you change the motor and are you changed the stuff in the Gen 8? Did you still keep that big crazy motor in it? Uh, that's the next job. I got to pull that out. I am going to pull out that big crazy motor. I'm going to put in a, a 3000 kV something that I had. It's an old uh, Speed Passion. It's a slotless some they call it slotless it's from like 2012 i was going to try that see if it's any good yeah nice uh, grant mcintosh grant said i'm still debating if i'm going on sunday for you take oh well, better SCRRC says, hey, dudes, come on, man. Thanks for stopping in, bud. I got the Orlando Micro Crawler on order. It's almost here. Quick draw, RC says, nice. That's That thing is teeny tiny. Um, RC Voodoo has one. Last time I went crawling with my TF2 in, in the mud, I just left all the dirt in the rims. So everything is still have all the dirt on the truck. 
And when I work on it, that's when it gets clean. So <laughs> the dirt is familiar. Joseph Daugherty, what's going on, bud? John, do you do anything to clean your arms where the pins go through? I was thinking about trying that. Clean them? Um, when, I mean, when I'm building a new kit, if they bind up a bit, I'll ream them, but but I don't clean them for dirt. Okay. I use one of those like like mascara things and I run it into the arms. And but I was thinking about using that uh that dry silicone on the on the rod itself. Oh well that is a trick where you can sp I spray down my whole chassis uh, with that the dry lube, the PFTE spray. And, oh, so and then think it does like make things feel a lot freer. And then dirt doesn't stick as well. Yeah, I've never read it in a form or anything. I just something I was thinking about, but that will work. Just spray it down with that spray, the dry lube, um, yeah. and it will help. Hinge pins. That's what I was thinking. Hinge pins. I was thinking about spraying yeah. the hinge pins down, cleaning out the arms and spraying the hinge pins down with that. Yeah. You'll That's probably good. notice it. Everything is like really slick after that. Um, Joseph DeBari says, Godzilla, what's doing, brother? Ah, I missed it. <laughs> yeah. Said hello to him and they didn't look up and they went flew by again. Glass Customs RC, what's up, man? What about cleaning tire ammo box, RC, a holic? What about tire cleaning ammo box? I'm not sure. I've seen some of them. It's it looks like an old ammo box. It's set up with brushes and a crank in it. You oh, put the, the plastic one. On one. Spin it. Those, those look nice. Uh, yeah, e those are called Easy Clean, and they are awesome. So a lot of people at my track this year bought them, and yeah, they're using them every single week, and they're pretty cool. Uh, if you're the person who likes to keep your tires clean, it is going to make it easier for sure. But I nice. like them. They have different holes for different tire sizes. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Several different tires in them. That's something yeah, I didn't know. It's a, it's a fully independent company, and that guy just came up with that idea, and he's been killing it. And I'm seeing a lot of people buying them. That's Those awesome. Cheaper, though. I don't remember what they yeah, were. They're but pricey. You remember what they cost off the top of your head? Because I don't. No. I mean, what, I'm not going to say what I'm thinking because I might be totally wrong. <laughs> but they were more than I thought they should be. <laughs> it's an easy clean. Yeah, it's a e, e and a Z. E, Z, clean. <laughs> what yeah, are you from Australia? Australia? He's in the chat. <laughs> he said Z. I mean, that's racer specific. It's not going to do anything for crawling. Well, I mean, you wouldn't care, but yeah, it's mostly for racers. That's cool. I have to look those up. Particle Man says, I wash my truck whenever I drive through a river. <laughs> <laughs> Propaganda says, uh, you sauce the tires for more grip? Yes. Both of you guys sauce the tires? On road. Uh, on road, yes. Off road, I don't, but I should. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. All, off road, Shan RC. You just, uh, what is it? WD 40 or something he puts on his wheels? It's for the, for the tires, it's liquid wrench, tends to be the best off road traction compound. Uh. Oh, yeah. the stuff that gets rusty bolts out? Yeah. Okay. But there's two different types of liquid wrench, and there's only one that works. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it. I, yeah, I, think, I think that's why Shin uses the WD-40. It's the same sort of, I think it's the same sort of stuff. Huh? I've used oh, fire cute. sauce on my VTA cars. I don't use it on my bomber because I get too much um, traction roll. It just grabs and rolls over. 
So I went and bought it, but I haven't tried it. Like and red shot. Yeah, the blue, but you want the blue one. There's a yellow and a blue. You want the blue one. Okay. Um, it's the super lubricant one. And okay. what some people do is they, they spray their tire down. Like after a race, they'll spray their off-road tires, clean them, then spray them with this, and then put them in a bag. And then the next week when you go to race, they're, they're super soft. It like takes them a whole compound softer by letting oh. them soak with this stuff. Wow. Right. Yeah, I've done that. The more you know. Tires with those too. It helps out. I know where I go, we use uh, Simple Green. Yep. Yeah, I heard of that before too. <laughs> I never had any luck with Simple Green. I think it's good yeah. to clean them. I don't know if it's going to soften it though. I clean my um, air. Spray it on, you spray it on there and you let it sit for about 15 minutes between uh, races. It, it does pretty good. It tacks them yep. up a little. Yeah. Nice. Well, there we go. The Winnebago is ready for Sunday's race. Everything's ready to go. Nice. Sweet. Nice. Class one. Here we go. Class zero. Sorry. Class zero with this guy. Well, I spotlighted you. Check uh, it out, guys. So this is my GCM with a uh, Cross Canyon chassis under there. And you can see the dust falling. Mm -hmm. So I left it all original paint. And I just put the uh, vinyl stickers on it. So cool. Don't race it on three S and break it this time. No, I'll keep it two S. And I and I got mini tank ready also. So mini tank's ready to go. <laughs> he needs foil. He needs foil. I'm actually thinking of taking it off because it's getting really warm. And it is. <laughs> He's still wearing it. <laughs> Let's see. Well, Charlie, that stormtrooper looks like he's ready to attack you. Uh oh, he's not even there. Offline. Trying to catch up with you guys in chat here. Um, Brandon says WD 40 works great for crawler tires. Yeah. Breaks down the rubber compound. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's the thing with WD-40 is um, if you if you spray down your A-arms and stuff with it, just spray it and then give it a wipe and then just let the residual kind of soak in. It does make the plastic softer and more flexible. Yeah, I do that with all my new RCs. I'll take them and I'll douse them down with some W-40 and let them sit overnight. Yep. I'll wipe up whatever didn't soak into it. Gives it more flex, you know, rigidity, whatever, however you want to say it. Yeah, lets it flex more without snapping. Yeah. I think these armas use uh, long enough screws. That's this is one of the ones that goes through the through the bumper. <laughs> wow. That's a bumper. That's a bumper bolt. Yeah, it goes through the through the bulkhead. It goes from the bottom all the way up through to the th shock tower. Huh. Don't end up simple green or uh, WD forty and stuff. This is what you end up with in your uh, rear block, and you get somebody t boning you. Is it broke? I can't tell. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. Broke. That was my biggest thing about slot cars when we got that's for a, yeah. And, Is that for a slash? Definitely get RPM yeah. rear rear hub carriers if you're running a slash. I already already have them. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, got them on the front too. Sweet. Um, so RC Aholic says, "What about the new Spectrum ESC?" He's probably talking about that smart ESC. Um. I I don't know much about it yet. I don't know about the pricing, but they look pretty cool. I mean, it looks like they're manufactured by Hobbywing, and it looks like they're going to use actually have the pins on the smart connector, so it's going to get all the telemetry data from your battery. So you're going to be able to see 
how many volts are in each cell and what what exactly what your battery is doing as you're running it on your transmitter so it's it's pretty cool but i mean you're going to have to have spectrum chargers batteries transmitter receiver you're going to have to have spectrum everything to make it work yeah and then if spectrum esc so yeah i think i think it's going to be for diehard spectrum fans boy put your order in now <laughs> yeah yeah what was the rumor on that new uh, Carpo? Was it which which radio was that supposed to come with? The Capra? Yeah, I wanted to say crap. Later, <laughs> <laughs> party, <laughs> It's it's just a kit. There's no electronics in it at all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Which is good because you won't get an STX two. Yeah, yeah, garbage. Freaking. Yeah. Paperweight. Yep. I'm excited that it's a kit. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it because it's it's yeah. not as nice looking as I thought it might be, but but I I don't know. I want to see more running footage of it once it comes out. For what rig is that? The Capra. axial Capra. Uh yeah, yeah. Seventh scale or fifth scale or what is it? Uh, I think it's a tenth. Small. Yeah, it's one tenth. Tenth Rubble. scale. Rock bouncer. Charlie, who's winning the fight? Javier. Uh, is that Amanda Serrano. The fight is in, in New York. Hold on, let me mute this. Uh, uh, uh. He looks so serious watching it. That's why I had to ask him. I but... love it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> looks like he was screaming a little while ago. <laughs> That's why I mute myself. <laughs> I got me a new build for after I get done with the semi. Ooh. Should I say rebuild? That's an old what? Let me uh, present you. <laughs> Axial Exoterra. Old rig. Nice. Oh, if Basher Boy was here, he'd be in love with it. <laughs> yeah, right. That's just like the Glamosphere, ain't it? No. He oh. says the gla it's uh, he says the glamosphere kills that truck. Oh, okay, that's what he was always saying. Probably, I wouldn't be surprised. But I've always wanted one. I've got a bunch of aluminum parts and a brand new body already sitting here waiting for it. So, oh wow, cool, sweet. So body panels, you mean, or are you gonna put a body over it? I can actually do both. I've got a Bronco that I can make fit on it, and I've got a brand new set of the red body panels in the package okay yeah it'll be fun Sweet. what do you, do you used to do with the bands over there you're in arizona right yeah you said you used to help out with bands or what did you used to do yes i did i used to drive the van and set up all the equipment oh wow so once you put once you put the tires on it it's going to look a lot like this one yeah. So I'm probably gonna put my two two um gearheads on it just for fun. Yeah, these are two two point twos uh rock claws on it actually. These things balloon like crazy, like they become pizza cutters on this. Oh I don't doubt it. What motor are you running? Oh man, I can't remember. It's um it's an HPI um the one that used to be in the Savage and the one uh oh. Anyways, it's the Savage motor in this thing. Like a 3800 it, it, or something like that. Yeah, it's it's stupid fast. Nice. But okay. mine, the cage at the back, mine was cut. So my cage at the back is completely gone at the back. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to do that because this one's messed up and bent. So I'm just going to do that to get rid of it. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Buggy. It'll be interesting when it gets done. It's a fun buggy. The uh, shocks for it, the, the slash shocks fits on it. So, what's that? The slash shocks they fit on it. Oh yeah, and I got a box full of those. Slash I've also got the aluminum housings to put on these. I mean, I've got all sorts of parts for them. Cool. So is it, is it a fairly fast RC, or are they meant more for bashing than crawling? No, it's, it's a fast. A, it's, it's a fast buggy. Yeah. yeah, okay. 
Is that an eight scale as well? Like a Flamis? No, it came out as a tent scale, but yeah. it, it is big. Yeah, it's a larger tent scale. Yeah. So what page are you on now? Uh, just page 12 or something. So. 12? Yeah. Getting it slowly but surely, you know? Surely? What are you doing with Shirley over there? Yeah, that's it. Did you tell me? Was here. What is up, uh, Rob Wilson? Welcome to the chat. He says, what's up, everybody from Bellefontaine, Ohio? Cool, you're right, right next to me, or under me. Uh, RC Tellerides in the house said, just finished my custom cage for my 116th summit. Can't wait to get it running. Uh, working on some Lexan sheet to finish the body panels. Sounds like a cool project. Want to send some of that spaghetti this way, Earl? Oh, is that what Earl's got spaghetti tonight? Yeah, he says he, he, he's back. I keep going back and forth in the stream and cooking dinner, making spaghetti dinner. <laughs> RC, uh, RC, uh, eight, uh, eight, a holic, whatever, is That's asking, what John, can you still get the belt for the Fortec? Can you still get belts for the Fortec? For Fortec 1.0, <laughs> that would be really hard to get. I'm it's my Fortec is up in the background here and it still has its original belt from 1998. But uh, if I ever blow it, I don't think I can get another one. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that was a version one, like the, the first one Th that you have, John. Yeah, I got a one, I have the version one and, a, and the new one. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize 11 Charlie Luff fights tomorrow night, that Tyson Fury fight. Yeah, that's like tomorrow Tyson night. Still, Tyson Fury. Are you talking about Mike Tyson, that guy still boxes? No, Tyson <laughs> Fury. <laughs> so say, man, he's getting old. Yeah. Tyson Fury, there'll be some good fights tomorrow, too. ESPN. I, I think the last major fight I remember watching in high school, we all pitched in and rented it, was Tyson versus uh, Holyfield when he bit his ear. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, Holly, Evander Holyfield. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Evander Holyfield. Yeah. Tyson, yeah, I'm crazy in that fight, man. That was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. I remember that one. Well, that's a Fortec 1.0 belt driven. It's got two belts. They're pretty well protected in there. They've got this cover that goes over them, but um. Yeah, nice. But yeah, if I ever blow one of those belts, I don't think you can get one. Oh, uh, that's hard. crazy. It's a completely different car from the from the new one. I mean, the new one is way stronger, shaft driven. This one was really designed to be a racing touring car. It's it's very much a race style chassis. And, yeah. And yeah, so I ran that. Yeah. I raced this nineteen ninety eight. Never seen one before. Yeah, I raced it in 1998. One of those trophies back there was for, for winning with this. It's uh, It's got like a graphite chassis on the bottom. There was an optional chassis you could get that was uh, even a carbon, I think. or Well, no, carbon fiber didn't exist yet. Um, but there was a, pre a more even higher end chassis that you could get for the top deck to get rid of the plastic. You could also get a graphite on the top. Said I had those same type of rims on my Mustang back in '98. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah, it's a very '90s style rim for sure. This used to be yeah. chrome and all flaked off. Yeah, mine were all chrome and they looked just like that. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I'm bringing this guy for doing tractor pull. They're going to be doing some pulling, so uh, so I'm bringing this big guy to actually pull stuff so that's my hpi uh, savage with a long boy body this thing is huge who the heck is in the driver's seat yeah frog it's a oh, crazy, that's a crazy frog oh yeah 
Don't even start. <laughs> <laughs> so. John, if you go to that, take your UDR for the polling. What uh, what dips are you, are you running on the on the savage tank? Uh, it's all upgraded from. I picked that up from GCM Racing, and he did some custom parts back then, and uh, those are all GCM custom in there, uh, all aluminum. Uh, it it's got a uh, special. It's got a lot of special stuff from GCM Racing. It was fully upgraded from GCM Racing, so I'm kind of happy yeah. I got that. I still own the uh, Savage XL, but a nitro version. Okay. And uh, I've got uh, LRP32 on it. And I went, the original diffs just got completely destroyed. So I got the bulletproof ones, big chunky ones. Yeah. Even those were going, they were getting destroyed. So I actually ended up forgetting the, the machine cut ones. They were like... Uh, 50 pounds for, just for one diff okay for one crown and uh they have lasted Th those ones have lasted yeah and and i believe those are the ones i have in mind which are the machined and they were expensive but uh, gcm racing used to use that rig as a prototype and to test all his stuff and once it was good and it lasted that's when he put it on the market yeah Went, let's see, I'm going back a little bit in the chat because I missed some of this, but Earl says, speaking of 116 tracks, when the heck are these new mini e Revo bodies going to be available? I want that dang green and blue one. I haven't seen those yet. Any of you guys know when they're going to come out with them? No, I just saw some pictures on, on, on the internet, no. but I don't know when they're going to come yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't even know about it. Yeah, the Revo is something I wouldn't keep a track on at all. Like. <laughs> uh, Bill Boynton, Swampers RC says, Ampro did a video yesterday. He came up with some parts to extend the wheelbase of the TF2 LWB and install the standard Mojave bed. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Uh, question for John. John, what was the battery you ran in the original Fortec that was LiPo? I think it was yellow. Uh, no, I ran nickel cadmiums. One of these guys right here. It's a uh, six cell NICADs with the type of connector I can't even remember anymore, but that was the connector. But yeah, I still got six of these old things. I don't know why. Look at that, 1994, <laughs> battery five, <laughs> January 94. Nice. Wow. They still have the power. Made by, made by Sanyo, Sanyo Pro Pack One. Hmm. Sweet. Do they oh. still charge? They do, actually. I've even got a still charger in the back over there that can charge them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Brock, they last about one minute, but they take a charge. <laughs> Brock uh, Atkin says, Mini E Revo looks awesome, but I just cannot bring myself to spend that much money on a 116th. Very true, very true. On the same way. Yeah. Hello, 180 bucks, I think, or something. A brush E Revo is 180 RC Tell Riot says. Yep. The brushed one, yeah. Rob Wilson says, I know it's a different topic, but is Traxxas really uh, discontinuing Nitro? I've been thinking about getting one. Discontinuing, I read it. I haven't heard anything about that. Well, I know the guys that take the Nitro I don't know. the racetrack, they don't usually finish a race. Yeah. So I don't know how to or something, maybe, though. Is I that a rumor that he heard, or is or did they change something on their website? 
Um, not sure. Let us know. Everything's going to electric. I've seen that they, in Michigan, they just approved seven different school districts with electric school buses. Really? No more diesel. They got electric school buses now. <laughs> I seen an electric car in Davidson. Yeah, the live wire. Yeah, man. I was like, what? <laughs> well, I've seen I've seen pictures on Facebook that they're putting snow plows on school bus so that they'll be school when there's a snowstorm. Wow. Just right. It should be. It drives me insane having to try and scramble. Yeah. He said, thanks, do you know of any light bulbs? Um, yeah, there's <laughs> lots of light bulbs. I don't know if he was talking about ones that fit in the, in the, in the. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, you can get, yes, you have to get the ones that fit in the Tamiya that have the rounded bottom. Those like will fit right? in the Fortec, original Fortec. Like the Gen Ace 4000 there, like the one I have here. These, yep, these ones are the same one. <laughs> yeah. The rounded yeah. bottoms are the best. <laughs> yeah, Brent's got the same one. Everybody loves a rounded bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I got the a, a Wi-Fi the, like that with the rounded bottom. Oh, a Wi-Fi also did it? Cool. Yeah. How many, uh, how, how big are theirs? Uh -huh. um, 7.2. 7 7.2. 7 oh, oh the, um, thir I think they're either 3,500 or okay, 4,000. 3, okay, Okay. Yeah. I think dynamite does around the bottom as well. And the dynamite ones are actually cheap too. Like oh, yeah. Um, Rob Wilson says, Muggy Maniac said something on his channel about Traxxas going to all electric. I'm cool with it, but I would like to try out Nitro. Muggy Maniac? I, I don't know who that is. I'll have to check him out. Well, to be honest, I would not be surprised, to be honest. Not, not just Traxxas, but a lot of other brands that might just start consider electric because it's easier to work on and, you know, easier to replace. Yeah. A lot of guys are converting their nitros to electric too, so you want yeah, to. The problem, the problem with nitro is like I, I did nitro a long time ago, and you spend more time tinkering with it and trying to get it to start and work than you do actually rolling the bloody thing. You know? Yeah. No yeah. All the I, 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 time spent with a nitro is like. In all fairness, I, I, I still love my, my nitro trucks, um, like my Savage. I, I think that, for me, is possibly one of the best bashes that ever existed. Um, now you've got the Xbox, but that's a completely different thing. But uh, yeah, I still I still love my, my, my nitros. It gets expensive. Yeah, Savage is, Savage is awesome. I don't mind watching them, but I've never messed with them much myself. Uh -huh. Plus, where I live, we got kind of strict noise ordinances, so yeah, my electrics, right? Tank is going to be an aluminum foil wearing meme very soon. Tony says. <laughs> <laughs> I send him some. Pictures. I send him the pictures of me wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know where those pictures will end up, Mike. That's why I send. That's why I send it to him. It's good advertising for me. <laughs> um, do I get a wrench? I cut back. I'm doing the wrenches because uh, of a warning that I got. So, <clears throat> does anybody <laughs> know if Red at makes any good nitros? I think he means red cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do they have? The earthquake? I think. Yeah, they've got some okay ones. You've just got to make sure you break them in 100% correct. Yeah. Um, 
Rob says, um, seem like they would be fun, but mostly a hassle. Nice to drop in a lipo and rip without tuning. Yes, exactly. I got a monster truck from Thunder Tiger, uh, the vintage one that's in the box. And I got a vintage Thunder Tiger streetcar. It's a BMW. So I got a, those were, came in magazines and all the parts, and I got all the magazines. So it's kind of. Yeah. My neighbor's first truck was one of those. Uh, okay. Tiger that you build it from the magazines. It was actually mm -hmm. undad to build it, and he yep. gave it to him in two bikes. He completely broke the bench. Hmm. So uh, yeah, there might not be the might not. I, I don't know about now, but that one is an old one, so I, I'm not quite sure if, if the quality is uh, any better now. Hmm. You're already a meme, Frank. Tony already made you a meme. <laughs> Cool. Which platform? I want to go see it. <laughs> RC Aholic. Uh, I have never run Ducati 999R motorcycle. I need to get rid of. If I had, if I was on my feet, that's one that I would like to ride. On an old Duke. Old Duke. Yeah, it was like a. What would they call those race? They were like a motocross bike made for racing on road. Supermoto. Oh. Supermoto. Yeah. <laughs> I had I'm, reading, I'm reading what Tony did. He he's got one. Uh, the aliens. I should actually uh, show you guys. Hold on. Let me bring up my messenger and share it with you guys. All right. I had an old Triumph. Used to be my grandpa's. Really? What year? Uh, it was shit. It was, I don't know, it was old. <laughs> I'm trying to think what year it was because it was old, like <laughs> old. Oh my god, perfect. There you go. <laughs> That's too funny. That's like hilarious. chrome tank old. It had chrome on the tank. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this one. Oh, wait, the other one. <laughs> my uncle collects fire and motorbikes I oh know. yeah yeah i have a bunch of old vintage stuff too actually i only have one triumph right now though yeah it was uh it, the triumph it was uh um, it was kind of like a motocross bike um had an orange tank orange and white tank Oh, shit. I'm trying to think what year it was. It was old. Hmm. I imagine it was a four-stroke, obviously, because I don't think Triumph made any two-strokes. Yeah, and the shifter was on the opposite side. I didn't need this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that screws me up. I'm used to Japanese dirt bikes, and I get on the, the old vintage... English bikes and everything's reversed. Yeah, Husqvarna it used to be reversed. I don't know if they still are. Yeah, remember uh, those? Mako <laughs> <Mikko> 490. <laughs> My son learned on a Bull Taco Alpino 125. And man, he could rip that thing around. And Bull Taco was a really cool company. They were a US, US company. Yep. Huh. Them and Penton were kind of joined at one time, weren't they? Who was that? Saco and Penton. Yeah, they were for a short time. Yeah. Yep. Didn't last long, though, from what I understand. I don't know why. They had some nice pieces. Well, Bull Taco had been around for years and years and years. I don't know why they disappeared yeah. either. Um, I don't know. I know at one point they were still making stuff on a limited schedule, but I don't know what really happened to them. Yeah. 
Uh, Bill Boynton, Swamp as RC says, back in 99 and 2000, a few of us were racing nitro touring cars. We had a lot of fun. We, I don't do nitro, but in the racing world, I can see how that's like a real true to art racing sport because you got to figure out how to tune that thing and how many laps you can get before you got to refuel and you got to have a pit crew. Yeah. Yeah. But it sounds like fun as much as I hate nitro. The thought of even running a nitro that just sounds like man, that'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate turn marshaling nitro, that's for sure. How about you, John? <laughs> well, we don't really have any, so I never have to deal with them. Oh, lucky. But you. yeah, at, the, at that big race that I went to, uh, at that big race that I went to, there was a 45 minute nitro main and the guys were complaining that they're like, man, I raced for five minutes and now I got to marshal for 45 minutes. And the worst part, no matter how long a nitro race is, they spend 10 minutes warming up. Yeah. So you're out there in the sun, sitting on the track, right in your turn marshal spot for 10 minutes. Like, any of the race would be done by now. They hadn't even started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bobby Q70 says, anyone know of RC pulling sled for sale? Good one with or without weights. Uh, I don't know anyone that has one of those. For sale. No. I know there's a couple companies out there that make them. There's a guy here that has a couple because at the bashes they have pulling at times. I can't remember the brands though. There is a RC pulling page on Facebook. If you get on there and talk to them, they could probably set you in the right direction. Sweet. Uh, what do you know about Altern servos? A-L-T-U-R-N, Altern? Altern, yeah, they, they got okay. Uh, had a few, uh, but they don't like any type of moisture whatsoever. Oh. <clears throat> Things huge. That's what she said. She said. <laughs> um, two speed shifting sounding off. Swampers. Okay, Larry says he gotta go. Later, guys. Don't forget to hit the like. Thank you. Thank yeah. Larry. Larry. Later, Larry. Bye, Larry. He's a hard working guy, isn't he? Yep. Yeah, he does a lot on his property, too. Told you right there. Haven't seen BS for a while. Is he busy making sandwiches also? Uh, oh, yeah. shit, I don't know. He's on vacation. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was going on vacation. Yeah. He's... RC Aholic says, okay, wasn't sure a Swedish person was talking about them. He's talking about those all turn. Um, yeah. so. yeah, like I said, they, they, they are okay. They're not too bad. They're they actually decent for the price, but uh, they, they have moisture inside of the, 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 they just, uh, yeah, they just farm. Yeah. And you, like Tony Servo, I've never had a problem with it. He's like, the power hits these. Never once had a problem with them. Oh, yeah. oh Power HD? Yeah. Yeah, they are USA made. Yes, they are. See, Barbecue says, man, back in the day, Bowlink was one of the best RC in the 90s. What happened to them? Uh, heard a rumor they're now RJ Speed, but not for sure. RJ Speed bought out most of their products, yes. Really? Yeah. Because RJ Speed, yeah, I remember. A lot of the old bodies still left in stock. Um, they're running a lot of the same style chassis. So really? they just bought them out when they were having issues. And they're slowly phasing them out, but they still have some of this stuff around. Oh, yeah? That's sad. Bowlink was one of the best ones. They had some of the coolest bodies. Had some real neat chassis, especially pan car chassis. But now it's all going away. 
Wow. And so it's come, it's all becoming big corporations. You know? Pretty much. It's kind of sad when those kind of things happen. And I had a similar case uh, with LRP. Um, I used to own the uh, 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 LRP TX team edition, uh, froggy version, and the uh, LRP F8 uh, BRX Evo, something like that. And uh, you know, they were like kits. They were like racing kits. And uh, after a year, they went. They they just discontinued them. And they came came out with those rebel shit. I was mm -hmm. so pissed off. <laughs> Mr. Matt, twenty four twenty four. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming in tonight. Hey, Mr. Matt, brother. How you doing, man? I don't know if Tony's still watching, but I did confirm another conspiracy, which is these upper UDR arms, which are labeled left and right. They're molded left and right. They're they're the same. I just put a right on the left hand side, and it's totally fixed. It works, and I didn't even have to flip the ball around. It it fits perfectly. I know you can't really see it very well, but anyway, I just put I just put the right hand side on the left. I, there's absolutely no difference. So I don't know why they molded that with an L and an R in it, just so you would go and buy a new set if you uh, if you yeah. the wrong side. <laughs> there's no, they're the same. When I first broke my UDR, it was the bottom one, and I ordered the wrong size because the bottom ones you can't flip those bottom ones. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to flip the wrong one. But yeah, but these come separately. They don't come with the bottom, so that's yeah, right. Oh, I'm so proud. I did that. I did that. I'm so proud. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I snapped that one. This one's cracked through, but here's here's Frank's. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I figured if I'm going to do a job, I might as well do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it right. Yeah. Full send. <laughs> right on. So UDR is back in action. Sweet. Sweet. That's how long I procrastinate on this stuff. That's been broken for what a month? I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, you, who's got um, an X Max between all of you? I have an X Max. Is that the eight that version. Yeah, it does. Yep. And so John has an X Max also. Yeah. And, um, racing. Uh, huh? Mine is currently broken. I have to open it up and find out what's what's wrong with it. I think I blew the diff again or a ring in opinion. Can, can I ask you a stupid question? When is a X Max not broken? <laughs> I never broke, knock on wood. I haven't broke it's mine. sealed in the box. What you just said you broke an A arm. Uh, no, that was on my UDR. Oh, UDR, but X Max never broke? Nope, knock on wood. The only thing that happened was the, the body pulled through and I had to buy these washers so it wouldn't pull through anymore. Okay. I'm surprised that hasn't happened to mine because I'm not running any washers and uh, yeah, I haven't had those screws rip out. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. is there a difference between the, the, the drive cap on the, on the 6S version and the 8S version of the x -Mark? That's funny. Tony from CCXRC, my X Max is almost always working. <laughs> yeah, he has a six. He has a six S version. Um, I don't think the drive shafts. Uh, did they change the drive shafts? I know they changed the the gears. The, they beefed them up like the drive train. Yeah, but have you seen the way Tony drives? There's no wonder that thing is broken. <laughs> he drives it like he stole it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's, yeah. that's how you're supposed to drive it. Yeah, yeah. that's all we say. Um, yeah, that, that's why I put three S in my Winnebago. <laughs> um, do you guys like RC Comet bodies? I've never heard of them. No idea. Don't know. Don't know it. 
Mr. May, I got some new batteries to uh, test soon, pops and test soon, nice. Uh, Tony says, and it's an easy fix. That's what he's saying yesterday, that it was so easy to work on. The, 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 Comet, the Comet body, I uh, believe that the, the company that makes uh, scale look uh, bodies, but they're not uh, licensed, I believe. Oh, okay. Um, let's see, man, the Primal RC laminator looks like an X Max on 2S. <laughs> X Max broke shot top first day. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, knock on wood since it's Friday the 13th. But seriously, mine doesn't hardly break. Only replace one ring gear in the front. That's what Tony said. So fast to change out. Shock shaft and a couple arms. Mercury Comet body. I've got a Cougar body for my VTA car. Hmm. Uh, Raminator looks scale. RC Comet bodies are tough. Check them out. Yeah, definitely. I'll see what you're talking about. People need to get scale size jumps for the laminator. Those tall hills don't allow it to jump. Anyone ever buy a Parma body? How is the quality? Oh, yeah. I've got a couple of them. Yeah, Parma pretty, pretty good. I know Parma makes uh, a Lexan body for the lunchbox I was going to get. And I think they do the Cloudbuster too in Lexan. That sounds about right. Because I know Shen RC has them on, uh, on his. And he was the one that told me about Parma. Parma is one of the brands that makes the muscle car body that fit on the splash chassis that we use in the bomber class that we run out here. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. So I've got one of the Novas. It's been beat the snot, but it was a year and a half of racing. And people actually stepping on it when they're trying to marshal and other kinds of destruction. Huh. It held up pretty good. Sweet. Even real monster trucks need the <coughs> of shock rebound to help launch it. Uh, immediacy of the shock rebound to help launch it. Sorry, I can't read. Now you're saying it needs the immediate rebound so it'll bounce up. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. UFO racing for X Max indestructible. Yeah, I was I was thinking about getting one of those indestructible bodies. Is that the Russian company that WFO? I know Proline has one, but I think it's more money. Yeah, some Russian guys that got the X Max. Yeah, I think, I think they do uh, the Outcast and Notorious and such. Uh, Scott's got the Notorious. Uh, they, they do a lot of those bodies, uh, the Russian guys, but the, the detail on the on the bodies are not as good as Proline. But then again, I don't know which one would be better for bashing the Proline or the Russian one. No. Yeah. We're, we lost Scott. Yeah, he, he blanked out his uh, microphone and camera earlier, and now he's gone. I don't know. Yeah. Probably he's on the phone or something. Yeah, he might have got a call. Yeah. RC Trail Ride, that um, Parma 57 body that they have, if I'm correct, that's only for a touring car size. They don't have one for a slash. They've got a 55 Chevy for the slash. 
1.5 mod gears. Yeah, I've seen guys putting those in the X Max. Primal and even RC tanks 24 7 were climbing hills and doing little jumps from what is left. Uh, Bill Boyton says, I had Parma F 150 bodies on two Nitro Vortex I just sold. Um, Those are a hard one to get a hold of. <laughs> it's not Rob, making... Rob Wilson says, just picked up my son a new Parma Big Rock. 2S, it runs nice. <coughs> You're all over the place. You run mostly on the street. You think the tires are the problem. I swapped out my tires on the Big Rock right away. Um, I got the Duratrax Lockup MTs, and it gives it uh, a half inch on each side. So it gives you an inch wider. So, because that truck's kind of seemed narrow to me with tall, skinny tires, these ones will. Drop it down a little bit and widen it, and uh, it handles better. Okay, Earl, have a good dinner, man. Later, Alvin, bro. He said he's going to keep the live stream going, though. Okay. Swampers RC says 20 years old. I oh, must be talking about those Nitro Fortec bodies. Oh yeah, they, yeah, they had a nitro Fortec. Yep. That's all I've ever seen in person is nitro ones. Never seen the electric up close. No. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think the '90s one was more popular in nitro, for sure. Uh, barbecue seventy says the J concept slash muscle bodies, pretty nice. I have the '67 Chevelle. It got my first pair of King's Flame Tractor 2.6 tires, um, and they are like R and can say love them. Yeah, those King's Flame tires are awesome. I like them. Parma bodies for our dirt oval racing short course conversions, tough and look good. Uh, okay. Phil says good night to everybody. Thanks. I'll have to try that. My son takes after me. Uh, he likes speed. <laughs> yeah, those uh dirt track tires, they're they're not badly priced either. They're pretty uh pretty good price. They're not expensive. Are those the 17 millimeter hex ones, Steve? No, they're actually 14 millimeter because that's what comes on the big rock. So mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't have to buy the conversion uh, hot racing or I think Arma makes them too. The extensions to 12 millimeter or 17, they bolt right, bolt right on. That's another reason I got them because I didn't want to have to mess around with bolting extensions on and then bolting tires on. I wanted a direct blame you there that is a pain uh, i was thinking it was 57 but it was a 56 heavy for the set the 56 is a ford 55 is the chevy i've had both um, RC after dark, laugh out loud oh go ahead uh, just saying Scott's back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Downtown Calcasco, watching again while waiting for my boat. Yeah, I used to work once in a while out in Calcasco. I've got the Russian unbreakable Bugatti body on my infraction. I didn't know they made a unbreakable Bugatti. Oh, um, yeah, that's Brian Rowland's channel. That, that Bugatti's body looks sick on it. Concept RC. Yeah, it used to be Brian Rollins. He just changed his name to Concept RC. I have to see if I'm sub to him real quick here. Go to channel. Yeah, he has a he has the infraction and all. He has the infraction and he has the limitless all too. So. Huh. 
Come on, why is this not loading? There we go. Come on. All right, on number 466. Oh, I'm talking to him. Who was that? Who was that, Steve? Um, what was his name? RC uh, Concepts? Where is he at? Concept RC. Concept RC. Yeah. Yeah, he just he just recently changed his name. Man, I didn't know they had a Bugatti Unbreakable for the infraction. You might be getting on the shelf, buddy. I might be. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a, it is a really nice body. His son drives it a lot. Like they were actually doing ramps with it the other day. He was actually jumping off ramps. Oh yeah. Uh, small little ramps, but still doing a good speed going into them. Yeah, I seen the thumbnail. Uh, yeah. Net Cruiser, would you buy that Tamiya you just built again? The one shock TRF. Talking about. Yeah, I I answered him in text. I said, oh, yeah, I, I would buy it again. I do like the car. I just need a much smoother place to run it. That parking lot I chose was crap. Yeah. Yeah, this thing ran. Whoosh, Real quiet and smooth, but I want to get on it, so I got to glue these damn tires. Hey, John, what do you think about that new uh, Nitro buggy that's coming out from Techno? I think they're going to revamp the rest of the Techno line with those bigger diffs and the other, option, uh, the other upgrades they're doing? I Yeah, I do, and that you know more about it than I do because I haven't even looked at what were they revised i was more so waiting to see well whatever they improved will they'll put it in the e-buggy version soon so I'll, I'll figure it out then but but um i didn't i didn't realize before that the discs were, were not easy access on their eb48s so i mean the, the diffs on my basher are easier to get to than on, on those race cars it's crazy and, hmm. and the bigger diffs in them so they a little more fluid and it's supposedly uh, you don't have to clean them as often, and they won't have that. Uh, supposedly they they heat up and they slow down over time. Okay. So the bigger diff's supposed to solve that problem. There's a oh, bunch wow. of things we're doing too, but I'm just wondering. I'm more excited about easier to get at them. What's that? I'm more excited that they're easier to get to. Yeah, I never really had a problem getting to any of my diffs. Okay. I mean, I think a center dip on a Techno is way easier than most vehicles. <laughs> the center, yeah, but it, it's the front and the rear that they, they kind of had buried in there. So yeah. What, uh, Swampers RC, what, um, I see you're saying, I've seen a few rigs with that utility body. They can look really good, clean, or whether, are you talking about the Unimog body, or what body are you talking about, Swamper? Uh, um, I think Barbecue asked about the Proline um, utility bed body that they have for the crawlers. Oh, like the G, like the G10. That one. Or the uh, with the one truck body. Two thirty-four per gallon. RC up the shark, telling us his gas prices. That must be nice. <laughs> Yeah, not not like Ireland. Ireland's like freaking near eleven dollars a gallon. Yeah. Really. What's it with you, Toga? It must be near the same you. What was that? The price of gas. It must be like freaking ten or eleven dollars a gallon with you as well, is it? Uh, I don't know, mate. I don't do gallon. <laughs> yeah, what is it a liter? Well, with you, because it's four and a half liters in a gallon. It's like a pound 30, a pound 40, depends where you go. Yeah, pound 40 a liter. So that's about that's about two dollars a liter. So that's near nine dollars a gallon, man. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> okay, James. Uh, uh, he says he got to go uh, again on my way back home. Have a have a safe trip back home, man. Drive drive safe. It was good to see you again, buddy. I'm still gonna get. I'm still gonna get up to your place and uh, do that crawler course as soon as, as soon as I get my invite. <laughs> <laughs> so who's got a winch on their crawler? I do. And do you use it? Yes, I have. 
I picked up these things a while back. These are the the China ones there that you pick up that actually folds. Yeah. They're no good. They're no good. No. Why? What's wrong with it? I snapped those off. They look good, but they're not. Well, you can't get a grip, and if you pull hard enough on them, you'll break them. But what I've done is I've created my own. So here's mine. So it's got very sharp. It's like a chicken foot. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a chicken foot. Now I can grab a tree with this, no problem, and it sticks on. Or I can put it on a rock and it grabs on. And that's very easy to do with two, three and a half inch nails and brazing. So I actually made three of them. One for me, one for a friend, and the other one is going to be probably going to sell it or whatever. But uh, I'll see if people like them. But they're very sharp, very dangerous, actually. <laughs> yeah. Stick it in someone's calf. So you can yeah. pull it. <laughs> Put it on somebody's running shoe and uh, see how fast it can run. But it's, it's, it's a new um, winch rope at an event I went to. It was a raffle drawing. And it came with a hook on it, and it's a two prong, something like that. Oh yeah, and it works really good. Plus, I've got one that's homemade that is similar to that China looking one. Okay, it's a lot stronger. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of putting a plate at the uh, inside of it to make it uh, to make it like a spoon. So when you put it in dirt, it's actually going to hold in dirt. The only that's time this idea. thing. The, yeah, the only time this thing is not good is when you put it in sand. In sand, it's not good because it, it just keeps going. It goes right through, yeah. Yeah, but if I put a piece of metal right at the bottom of it, it's it's going to it's gonna help it. It's going to act like a spoon, so it should be better. That would work, yeah. Beanfield Alice Turtle, good night, man. Thanks for stopping in. Oh. Froze up, so I can't read any of the messages right now. <laughs> Egan says the utility bed is nice, a nice one or two thin spots. Used it with the Ford F two fifty myself. Hmm. Not sure what that meant. Interior corners of utility bed are thin. Okay. I've thought about that one myself, but. I just got the new, or new to me, the 60 Chevy. So I still got to put that together and paint it up. Awesome. Yeah, so Swamp, Swamper said, I had a winch on my Jeep. The switch went out, so I had to get a controller for it. Oh, yeah. Like uh, like the car controller-like type deal? Nah. Got a remote. Yeah. on my parts <laughs> nice hooks i just started brazing it works good for custom scale parts i think a terrible or a treble hook would work great for a winch uh green frog says c1066 chevy question mark yes Yep, that's the one I got. Sweet. Yeah, gas gas here is a dollar seven a liter. Oh. That's what we pay here in Canada. That's still that's still expensive enough. We're we're complaining because we're paying two dollars. I, I pay two dollars sixty a gallon, like which is four and a half liters, and I'm complaining. Well, we went to the States with my wife's Tucson. Usually she fills up here 60 bucks. We went to the state, fill up $25 US. Yeah. That's it. yeah. And we're complaining that it's too expensive. Yep. Barbecue <laughs> um, says two piece 66 Chevy, P slash U corners, thin. And I put rubber grommets everywhere. Uh, Green Frog says Proline has good interior for it. Francis made a frame truck out of one. 
uh, RC-aholic, if I want a Tamiya to build upon and go fast for carpet, where should I start? I'd say get the Euro um, truck. Well, John's the carpet racer and he's into Tamiya's now. Yeah, Green Frog's talking about my farm truck. Mm -hmm. The red farm truck with the interior. Yeah. I do think that those Bagaira trucks or the man trucks are the best value to get started in racing because that's a spec class. So all you have to do is buy the truck, you build it, it's pretty much race ready. You buy paint, throw a transponder in it, you're ready to go, and a radio. Um, but you're saying you want to go fast, but well, yeah, I mean, you need some parts to use servo. Um, <clears throat> but if you want to go fast, yeah, you need a 17.5 touring car. And I don't know, you're going to need a higher end unit if you want to compete. So it's, I don't know, it depends on how far you want to get into it. I would start with the trucks and move up from there. Yeah. They do have the super truck class for those big iras as well that they run the 17.5 yeah. all in. Oh, wow. <clears throat> that means you need two trucks, John. <laughs> yeah. I do have two trucks. I actually do because I bought both styles. So I've got a TTO one chassis not even built yet for, for parts. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I imagine I'll do another one of those and on, break um, again. Road with course now. Hmm? Aren't those top heavy? When you have the corners? Yes. Barry, that's the challenge. That's the challenge. <laughs> the man body is super nose heavy, so the back end just wants to swing out on you. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I got the Bagaira, the, the different front end. Yeah. I RC Hollick says they have tier up 419 on sale. I really like my 419. I raced it a whole season. And I didn't. I didn't really break much on it. The the front C hubs are weak. That's but the only weak part. I really like my TRF 419. Uh, Rob Wilson says the Armin Typhon 3S really surprised me. Good power, handles great. My first Arma. Really like it, but don't like the parts availability. Hopefully, shops start stocking more parts soon. Uh, I would go to like RPM if you're if you're gonna get like new arms and stuff. Well, there's a lot of places you can shop online and you can build up points as well. And one thing about buying online is if you buy enough parts, you don't have to pay any shipping and you don't have to pay any tax. I mean, I, I think we all should support our local shops at all, but the shop says they can order for me. Like, so can I. I can get a discount. I can build up points. Yeah. It'd be different if they had them in stock. Yeah. I mean, I'd buy anything on any day to have it that day. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. if I'm buying yeah. pants and I'm buying in bulk. Hey, Steve-O, you know you're famous when people realize it's Friday because you're streaming live. The <laughs> <laughs> intro just said that. Holy crap, it's Friday already because I guess he saw your live. What's up, boys? RC intro. <laughs> hey, RC intro. I almost put your shirt on tonight. I was like, God, I'll put the Detroit on for tonight. Yeah, it's, it's almost Saturday. It's almost 12 o'clock. Um, yeah, I'll be trying some new tires. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to wrap it up here in five minutes at midnight. As I still got to do, get my bandages changed, and my mom's going to get up at 5.30 in the morning, so she's not going to be happy if I stay out here all night. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it on sale for 356 the R model? Um, probably talking to John. Yeah, that 419. The TRF 419. He's not sure. Took my wrench. <laughs> I had to... I was getting in trouble. I was getting in trouble with YouTube. I got a warning. 
Yo Yo Sibo should have wore the shirt. Yeah, yeah. Next Friday, I promise I'll put it on next Friday for you. It's all cleaned and ready to go. So yeah, I guess we can uh, say our goodbyes and wrap it up here. Um, who do who wants to start off saying goodbye here? Mr. John Martin. Sure. Goodbye, guys. It was a fun time. Figured uh, work on a couple of things I had to work on and uh, listen to you guys banter. Listen to us ram ramble. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for uh, joining with us tonight. Not a problem. AZ Froggies. Have a good one, everybody. All right. Thanks for uh, coming on tonight with me, uh, Mr. Tuga. Tuga. Uh, good night, everyone, and thanks for coming. I will show see you next time. All right, Tuga. Thanks for joining. Uh, John's RC Adventures. Uh, thanks everybody for stopping by the chat and Steve, -O, thanks for having me. Oh. <laughs> 11 Charlie's got some action going on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's all right. Going crazy here. Thanks for joining with us tonight, Sean. Yeah, um, thanks for having me, Steve. -O. Anytime, bro. Uh, John, Mr. Net Cruiser. Right on, guys. Good stream. I fixed up uh, three RCs, working on the fourth, and uh, yeah, good chatting with y'all. Thanks for awesome. watching. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for coming out tonight, uh, Mr. Scott Zilla. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Have a great weekend. All right, thanks, Scott, for joining. Um, Eleven, Charlie, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Thank you guys for having me. <laughs> you know, thank you everyone in the chat. Showing support for Steve. -o. Cool. Hey, can you tell them about Operation Eleven, Charlie? What day it's going to be and what time? Yes. Uh, next Monday, eight o'clock. Uh, next show for Operation Eleven, Charlie. Uh, time, hope to man. see you guys there. And, yeah. Uh, for we'll another another show. So people know when to tune in. Say it again. I can't hear. My bad. What time zone are you in? So people know. Oh, oh yes, yes. Eight o'clock Eastern time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the New York shirt, New York baseball shirt, uh, really gives it up which time zone you're at. <laughs> so yeah. thanks, thanks, Javier, for coming out with me tonight, and I'll uh, see you on Monday. Cool. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. And last, we got break the tank RC. Hey guys, uh, thanks Tivo for having me in here. And uh, guys, you know what day it is? It is Friday, uh, and that means you got the weekend. So charge up those batteries and get the throttle and have some fun. Heck yeah! Thanks, Frank, for uh, helping me out and being on with me tonight. Uh, thank you, everybody that showed up in the chat. Uh, if you had a good time, hit that like button. Uh, Everybody have a great weekend. Get out and do some RC and if, if the weather permits, make some videos. I'll be watching. So see you guys. Stay safe. See ya.